guys. So I actually ordered a five-star Uber. Oh, here he is, here he is. Are you the Uber? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Of course, they had to bring out my dream SUV. The Urus. All right, you want to tell us a little bit about your car? 2018 McLaren 720S, uh, slowered, downpipes, light tune. That's about it. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't. Always been one up on all of these. Boys. They be trying to front for all of these. Boys. I ain't got time to say all in they feelings. I said the king and we making the killing. It's 2020 and they know the subdivision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the villain. Is it making more than the stock horsepower, which is like what, 710? Like around like about 850 once i put like inlets and yeah the rest of the exhaust get like 900. wow and you just got it how long have you had it for uh three weeks three weeks yeah. how are you liking it so far death trap <laughs> <laughs> and what's the color called uh mexico blue mexico blue yeah this color's sick all right what's your least favorite and favorite thing about this car so far least favorite uh i would say like the lights like a lot of sensors sensitive sensors Really? Yeah. Like so it's sensor. got a bunch of like sensors that just turn on randomly. Yeah. Like if they turn on, and like I'll go home and wake up, they're gone. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> What's your favorite thing? Oh, there's a cop. Favorite thing? Doors. Definitely the doors. The doors, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And I saw that you have this option right here with the the, the window. Yeah. I think that's like a two thousand and something dollar option. Actually, I want to ask you first. How old are you? Uh, twenty one. So you're twenty one. Yeah. Which is like seeing you drive a 720 and the, the Urus is absolutely like super motivating. What is it like going from a 328 to over $100,000 car? Actually, how is that one more than 200k or more than that Cullinan? The Cullinan is like half a million. Half a million. <laughs> what is that transition like? Big uh, transition, but the BMW makes the Rolls Royce, so you kind of feel like comfortable, like it's kind of standard. Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, wow. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. That's crazy. I know that's like, I'm gonna keep saying that over and over and over again, but that's just the only word I got for this car. So, can't get over the size of these brakes. The Urus has bigger brakes than the McLaren. Launch control in the Urus. Here we go. Alright, so now we're in the Urus, which you also own. Yeah, that guy back there. How long have you been um, 
doing or how long have you been working towards getting these cars and whatnot? Oh, uh, I'll say like it's been a good five years. Five years? Yeah. And do you want to kind of give them the rundown of what you do or? Uh, I, I trade crypto, uh, Bitcoin, and Ethereum specifically. I leverage it on like one minute chart. How do you like feel about crypto right now, bro? Because I'm down bad, dude. Uh, make crypto great again. <laughs> <laughs> And you, wow, so you've been into crypto for that long? Yeah, since like after the first bull run. So, like, around, so but like 2017 or so? Yeah, like right after, so like 2017, the end of it, 2018, it's so like around $3,000 per Bitcoin. It's like when I got in. Wow, okay. What made you want to get into crypto that far back? Uh, my cousin was showing me it, and he was just like making a lot of money. And just like, really? Yeah, like, I want, like, I want the life. Kind of just real quick. Wow, there. okay. What do you like better, Ethereum or Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin is just, just OP. And then yeah. Ethereum, there's more use cases for it. It's better, mm -hmm. better for the world, I guess. But Bitcoin is more OP. How do you feel about Dogecoin? <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic. You basically trade crypto, and that's how you've been able to. Yeah, I trade crypto, and then uh, started like a hedge fund two like a year ago, about a year ago. I started a hedge fund, so that's okay. also another stream of income and an education company. Okay. And for the education company, you teach people to do yeah, what you do. Exactly. The same okay. thing. I teach them from. Like start to finish everything, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna leave a link to his Instagram and the uh, education company that he has in case you wanna got you guys wanna hit him up, learn more about it, um, talk to him about all that stuff because I think that's really awesome, and it sounds pretty simple what you did, but you did put a crap ton of hours oh, into yeah. it. I'm guessing, yeah, right? Definitely hours of like studying the charts and stuff like that. Yeah. I took a lot of hours at the beginning. Now I can like kind of like somewhat laid back. So were you winning since the beginning or did you start no, off? No, no, I didn't know. I wasn't winning at the beginning. At the beginning I was taking a lot, of, I was losing a lot of money. Yeah. So keep reinvesting everything, everything. I worked at uh, Public Hilarious. Everything I got from there, from like checks, to tips, all went to the crypto. To the crypto. Yeah. What platform do you use to um, trade? To trade, to trade, I use a platform called Market. FTX? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's crazy what happened to that guy, huh? Yeah. That guy looks he looks strange. He's just like, Dude, I know bro. When I first saw a headline of like the world's most generous billionaire, I'm like, this dude looks mad weird. Yeah, he's just sitting there like, yeah, I got a Prius. Word of advice to someone that wants to be successful. What do you have to say? Just keep working, keep everybody out. Tunnel vision. Tunnel vision, right? You have to see it, you have to see it to believe it. And it doesn't have to be like through crypto or through YouTube or whatever. Yeah. Just find what you like. Yeah, exactly. Miss put all your Anything. time into it right exactly and then maybe it's something you don't like just like use it as something use it to do something you do like exactly like if you can fuel if you can pay for your hobbies that don't really make you money then you're winning either way exactly you're not into sports no really no i don't watch sports like at all so what, what were like your hobbies when you were here oh fishing 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 yeah I like fishing uh just hanging out with friends fishing hanging out with friends i'll get an instagram <laughs> Dude, this massage chair is amazing. Of course, these are the reactions that you get when you own a Lamborghini and a McLaren. <laughs> wow, this thing is awesome. Yeah, the inside of this car is crazy.
Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you. All right, tell me which one you guys would pick the 720 or the 570? The interiors are pretty, pretty similar. Well, this one's got bucket seats. That's actually pretty cool. And then this one, I feel like the seats in the 720 are much more comfortable. But the screens are pretty alike. You see, they're very simplistic. When it comes down to rear end, though, the 720 definitely takes it. Wait, so the owner just told me this is Stradman's Baby Mac, the giveaway McLaren. It uh, raised the temperature one degree. <laughs> of the tires? <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Did you win it or no? You just bought it off the guy? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll see. I'm like really hoping to buy the 720S though. So. Yeah. Dude, that's insane. This is Baby Mac right here. Somehow he made it to Naples, Florida. You see the Strat sticker right there. That's awesome. Like the best thing about having this car, the reactions you get. Yeah.